Hello, I am Senator Donzella James and I represent the 35th Senate District of Georgia. And it's always an honor and privilege to speak with you. This is February 2012 and it's been a great month for reflections as we honored the past trailblazers in the African American community. I was invited to participate in some most important events this month honoring African Americans. I, along with my colleagues from the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus, held a ceremony for the rededication of the Expel Because of Color Monument at the State Capitol. It was an uplifting ceremony that recognized both past and present members of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus and their commitment to this great state. It was visited by all and people understood that really that black history is not just for black people. It's for all of us. Red and yellow, black and white, it doesn't matter. We all in this together. We all live in this state and we all must make it a better place to live. It was also a privilege to welcome the wonderful, outstanding Senator Leroy Johnson as our keynote speaker. Senator Johnson was the first African-American senator elected to the Georgia General Assembly since Reconstruction. Prior to that, there were 33 senators that were elected in the 1800s, but in 1868, they were expelled. And after that, up until 1962, when Senator Johnson offered himself to serve, there were no more African Americans until then. You know, he told us such wonderful stories about not being allowed to drink from the same water fountain. He told how he overcame these obstacles to become a respected senator that served his people diligently and passionately. He was known all over the world, not just all over the United States. He was known for being a real strong leader. He even brought Muhammad Ali here to Atlanta and he, it, it generated so much money because he had his fight. And he said, I, st I fly like a butterfly and sting like a bee. And everyone started saying that to Senator Johnson every time they saw him. He is a true leader. He is part of living black history. And his words resonated within each and every audience member at that ceremony. The 2012 legislative session is moving quickly and the time for passing legislation is drawing to a close. As always, I'm here for you, working for you. I'm listening to your voices and crafting legislation for the betterment of all Georgians. Unfortunately, many pieces of the legislation that I have introduced are dead on arrival when they get into the committees. Unfortunately, they are not moving out of the committee except for one. And they were all solid bills. They were all good solutions. And I'm sure that all legislators think the same thing about their legislation, but we did research. We looked at other states to see what they were doing for these particular issues. And we tried to craft the strongest piece of legislation, but they get in com into the committees and don't go through the process. So yes, I'm frustrated. I am just sick and tired of being sick and tired, as Fannie Lou Hamer used to say, because the common sense bills will not see the light of day because of the majority party bias, I guess. They don't want our party's initiatives to be important. They don't think they're important. Well, I hope this will change. I've talked to many of the people in the other party, and it appears that they have noticed that not one piece of legislation of a Democrat has come to the floor of the Senate and not one piece of legislation from an African American has come to the floor as of this date. But after talking to the rules chairperson and other 
key leaders within the Senate, I was told that they will look at each bill for its merit and that good bills will move these last days of the session. So I want you to know that I will really continue to reach across party lines and make sure that when we serve you, we all serve you. And not just the 35th district, but all of the state of Georgia. So please let me know if there's anything that I can do for you. Your concerns are my concerns. And I'm always here for you. And I tell you, that Fannie Lou Hamer said, sick and tired of being sick and tired. And yes, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired as well. She was a strong political leader in her party. And she is quoted for many, many other famous quotes. But she made a positive difference in her Democratic Party. So let's remember her as we end Black History Month. Fannie Lou Hamer. She was awesome, anointed, appointed, and approved. So I thank you for listening to me once again, and God bless you all. Thank you.